Hello there, this is FTL, Faster Than Light, and I'm your host, Mr. Quasar Games. Let's start a new game. Yes, I have the Advanced Edition content. This is awesome. I love all the extra things in it. I just love it. Anyway, I've been playing this for quite a while, so I have a bunch of ships unlocked, I've got a bunch of the Type Bs unlocked, and I've got one Type C unlocked. But I'm going to start with a Kestrel, because... For the first run through on YouTube, you've got to play with the first ship, right? I'm not going to play with Kestrel all the time. I don't really even... Uh, I, I don't want to play the same ship over and over. That gets boring. I get, and, I get, and I get kind of bored when people just do the same things over and over. But anyway, we have on the Kestrel a crew of three humans. Will, Trico, and... Kle Kletz Kletzkin? Um, no, uh, Bob. Will, Trico, and Bob. Okay, everybody... Um, we're going to play on easy because we want to actually make some progress in this video. And we're going to start. The data you carry is vital to the remaining re 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 Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Alright, so we've got our piloting system, doors, sensors, med bay, shields, weapons, engines, and oxygen. Or our life support, or whatever you want to call this one. We've got our ability to open and close doors. We have our ability to redistribute our, um, our power supply. How about we just get right into this? Alright, so I want to spend as much time as I can here in order to get more scrap, more fuel, more missiles. Uh, drone parts aren't really as much of a priority right now because I don't start off with drones and I might not be using them. So if I can create like a little of a zigzagging area before the rebel fleet catches up, I should be in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna move here. Oh great. Very first jump of our adventure on YouTube and it's into an asteroid field. Uh a pirate ship it was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately, bleh, immediately moves into attack. Turn and fight! Now let's pause this. Okay, um... Since, since we're in an asteroid field, I don't, I don't really think I need to use the Artemis missile, so let's just burst laser his... weapon system. See, because with the asteroid, you're going to have, uh, so... We're going to have a long time Please miss, please miss, please miss. No, that was a med bay. Oh no, now we disable our shields. Uh, let's uh, take out his shield system. Uh, awesome. Okay. Uh, burst laser on his weapons again. Okay. Awesome! Didn't need to make a final shot. The asteroid belt did it for me. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Two missiles, one drone part, and 21 scrap. That's pretty good. Anyway, I should um, get everybody repairing that real quick. I really should have saved their positions first. I really should have. Well, you will you learn. This, this is this is how you learn. Bob, get back to weapons. Trico, get back to en engines. Will, get back to pilots. Save. All right then. And we're going to jump out of this stupid asteroid boat. The store. Hmm. I only have 51 scrap, so I think I'm going to jump here first before going to the store. Um. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we will let you continue on your way. How about I pay you a laser fire? Too bad, you will regret this decision. Continue. Alright. Okay, I really need to get those, um, those shields down so that the burst laser can actually get to work. So I'm going to target the shields with my Artemis missile. And then I'll attack his weapons. Yeah, that should be fine. The, the, the hardest part is just waiting for those weapon charges. I know he's probably going to get a shot off before I do. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm safe from all of his, uh, yeah, from everything he can do. Okay, the enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Well, I'm not going to let you. You, you try to extort me, and I'm going to blast your ship to pieces. Hmm. What? What? It resisted every single... Let me explain. 
the rock ships like this one, they have an augmentation that makes it so that occasionally they won't take any damage to the hull from any shots that connect. Now, as you can see, I still dealt damage to the engines, but... Ah! That just... Oh, I was actually... I, I, I was preparing for a huge celebratory shout and everything like that, and then they just took it away from me. Hmm. Anyway, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. One fuel, one missile, and 17 scraps. That's good. Okay, 68. I feel a little better about heading to the store. Now. Oh, I should really start hurrying, though, because the Rebel fleet is catching up. A transmission from the nearby planet indicates, in, indicates an outpost below, which offers supplies to travelers. You send down an away party to check it out. Let's continue. Alright, I can get another crew member, Kevin Fish. <laughs> Kevin Fish. I'm sorry for any of you who actually named Kevin Fish, if there was anybody, but wow, I did not expect a mantis with the name Fish. Anyway, um, oh... Ooh. Ah, uh, no, no, I, 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 I can't justify this. I can't justify getting this. Hmm. Let's see what else they have. A shield charge booster, reverse ion field, hacking, drone control. Ah. Uh, a lot of this stuff's really good, but I, I can't, I can't justify getting any of them. I think I will, however, get Emma, the NG. And then I, um... Mm, might as well do that while it's cheap. And then I'll buy some fuel. All your fuel. Okay, we've got two scrap left, so... Anyway, welcome aboard, Emma. Let's put you on shields. Um, I usually put an NG on shields. Um, mainly because if the shields ever get damaged, I really want them repaired quickly. And NG, unlike humans, they repair twice as fast. However, they deal half as much combat damage um, in a crew versus crew conflict. So, yeah, and there's always that. Oh, incidentally, it, it seems like humans gain experience. You see these little bars on the uh, side, on the right side? That's experience levels. And it seems that human crew gain experience faster than other crews. Guess I guess it's kind of makeup for the fact that they're just so boring. Anyway, we spent too long here. Let's move. Well, no. No, I don't have the scrap to um, I don't have the scrap to justify that. So I'm going to move to this distress the distress beacon. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt, and you find a, a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Hmm. Try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks or destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. Well, pirates are no. They do need our help. I just hope. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Well, eh. You take a few careful shots, but you expose a mineral patch in the rock that reacts violently with your weapon. A shockwave forces you back as debris pelts against your hull. When you regain, regain control, you find there's not much left of the ship. I... A uh, shield's critical? Oh, my shield got damaged. Well, I'm, it's a very good thing that my NG is here to repair it. Anyway, that dealt two damage to my hull. We, lo we uh, lost the pirate ship. And no big loss. They, they were pirates. Just, you know, trying to get some goodwill in there, but oh well. Shield's back, it's time to jump again. Oh, we got some, we got 11 scrap from it. Hmm, can I do this? Can I do a jump around like this? Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Spend as long as I can in this sector. You arrive to find a small uh, a number of ships convening around the station. There is some unencrypted chatter between the ships. You tune in and listen for anything interesting. Overhearing their conversation, it seems that they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Ah, well, I could offer my services, but I don't have any ships that will allow uh, any weapons that will allow me to do that. I don't have a teleporter system. I don't have the anti -bi anti bio beam that I saw just a few moments ago. Ugh. I don't have anything, so even if I do offer my services, they're not going to accept. In fact, I'll do this, just to show you. They briefly scan your ship and inform you that they're not properly equipped for this type of mission. So, this was a big waste of time. And fuel. Anyway, let's jump, move on. Mercenaries are swarming the galaxy now, knowing that their less than legal services are in demand during this period of unrest. One is waiting at this beacon and hails you. Well, you know, they're, they're basically pirates, so... 
Let's fight them. Mercenaries are worse than rebels. The only honorable course is to engage the mercenary in battle. Well, the rebels are trying to take over the entire system. The pirates are just, you know, trying to make a quick bet. But the rebels are trying to destroy everyone's way of life. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't quite agree with this. But anyway, um, I'm going to take the Artemis system to his shield system, and the burst laser is going to hit his weapons. Everything should be good. It's got two lasers. Ah, oh, that thing always gets hit. That thing always gets hit. Anyway, burst laser onto his engine and NG. Go and repair that. Emma, not NG. No, no profile. Well, it appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Well, if you don't have an engine, it's going to be really difficult for you to do, sir. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. One fuel, two missiles, and 17 scrap. I'm liking that we're getting so many missiles, because because with this Artemis thing, we're going to go through them maybe a little fast. Maybe, uh, maybe one per per thing. Per thing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's jump. Uh, another distress call. Should I? Okay, can I do this? One... To no, that that's they're going to catch up. But if I do this, this, and I should be able to use the nebula to slow their pursuit. So I'm going to jump here first. You jump into an un unremarkable system. No life signs detected within scanner. Well, that just wasted time and fuel. Bleh. Anyway, let's go to this bleh, this distress signal. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your senses are, are picking up a single life from Charlie! Let's go and fight Charlie! You find a man living alone in the cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is, is questionable. Ooh. Okay. We're going to get Charlie if this works, but we're going to lose a crew member if this doesn't. I don't like losing crew members. But... Uh... No, Bob! Once back in orbit, the man turns increasingly violent. Eventually, he turns on your crew and manages to kill him before you can subdue him. No, Bob! Bob! Anyway, uh, let's move to this nebula. Sorry, Bob. It oh, this is... Um... Hmm. Ion Storm. This decreases my reactor power by half. So, um... Wow, I, I can't spend terribly long here because I don't have shields, and I, I, I have very little reactor power. Anyway, I'm going to mainly search this uh, wreckage in the middle of this plasma storm and hope that nobody comes and, you know, ambushes me. Oh, well. Despite your caution, the lack of detection equipment allows debris to crash into your ship, damaging the hull. You salvage what you can and prepare to jump before anything worse happens. Yeah! Oh wow, there, there was a hole breach. Yeah, let's get out of this place before anything worse happens. Um, yeah, I'm gonna jump here. Oh, intruders on board. Let's uh, take care of that. Um, okay, first off, shields, engine, uh, med bay. Let's take off one unit of engine because no, we're not currently under major attack. And it looks like, oh. It looks like it's our guy here under attack. Okay, we're going to man the door so that we can uh, trap these guys in here afterwards. Um, come on, no, 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 don't die, don't die. Headed to medbay. All right, let's start venting these rooms. Now you head into med bay. Let's start venting the entire dang ship, okay? The entire ship, so that if they eventually do try to fight us, they're going to have to fight us in the med bay. Because that's really what's best for us right now. So you, to the med bay, you distract them while the oxygen all vents. Now you're not going to be doing a lot of damage right now, you're just going to be soaking up stuff. Alright. No more oxygen. So everybody head to head to med bay. They're gonna go down. They, they they can't they can't hurt you fast enough. 
All right, let's close all doors, get this oxygen back up and running. I'm gonna open all doors a little bit just to equalize the uh, pressure in a, a bit. Close all doors, and everybody back to stations. Why are you not going back? Oh, because they're in the safe station once uh, you join the crew. Anyway, we're gonna jump now, jump to the exit. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTO drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Continue. Oh, ah, well. Mm, okay, nothing. Let's jump to the next sector. Now, we can either go to the abandoned sector. Ooh. Or the civilian sector. I like this. It's dangerous, but you can get some cool guys. They, they, um, they're called the... Oh, man, I can't remember what they're called now. I really can't remember what they're called now. Well, we'll find out. So, I know the civilian sector is safer, but I think high-risk, high-reward is really what we need to go, go for right now. So, we're going to head to Sector 2, the abandoned sector. I will see you guys there.